Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new and welcome to the last video on my channel before Vlogmas starts. So I have been prepping so much for Vlogmas. I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to pull it off and post a video every single day. Whew. But because of that, I'm going to just post this video before Vlogmas and that's going to be it so that I have time to get my Vlogmas videos ready. So today I want to share with you guys a Black Friday haul. I did not expect to do this video. I wanted to show you guys the makeup that I bought, but I ended up going like in person Black Friday shopping yesterday. I had so much fun and I want to share everything that I was able to find with you guys. I did also purchase a lot of gifts, so I'm not I'm not sure. I feel like I'm not going to show the gifts because if I got something for someone who's going to be watching this video, I don't want them to be spoiled. So I'm not going to share the gifts that I found. No, I will. I will. Okay. I just won't say who they're for. So <laughs> I will share everything that I got so you guys can see because I did find some really cool stuff for other people that I want to also put in this video. So my main goal um, was to go to small businesses and not just go to big box stores. So I did go to some larger retailers that are not small businesses, but I actually counted and I went to about half and half small businesses and then just like more typical larger retailers. But since I do have a makeup channel, let's start out with the makeup purchases. I actually placed an order on Ulta. I told you guys about this order, but I did get the products in. So I'm going to link below the video where I shared what I was planning to purchase for Black Friday. It was my most recent upload. I'll also put it in the cards for you guys. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit quickly through these things. I will have a video coming up in Vlogmas where I try all of these on, but they came in the mail yesterday on Black Friday. So I was very impressed I already got them because I just ordered them like on Monday or something. So I was actually really surprised I already got them. Okay, so from Ulta, I got the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. This is my favorite hair mask. I went through two full tubs of this before I chopped my hair off and it's such a good one. So I'm glad to have it back in my collection. If you are curious about the specific sale or price, I got any of these items for for Black Friday. I will have that video linked down below because I did share that with you guys. But I also picked up my favorite texture spray from Eva NYC as well. Then I picked up this moisturizer from Coco Kind. And this one I had heard a lot about. So I got the Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. I will share more about this when I try this on camera. I did actually open it yesterday just to kind of see how the formula felt. And I have some thoughts. <laughs> so stay tuned because that's coming one of the first days of December. I think it's day six, but... I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. I've got a lot going on in my head about Vlogmas right now. I did pick up this Tree Hut Cotton Candy Sugar Scrub. Um, oh, I forgot to bring the lemon one. I got the lemon one too. That one was a gift. And I wasn't sure if I was going to share that. But I did pick up the lemon one for someone. But this is the Cotton Candy Scent. And one of you guys asked me how it smells. I don't think it smells like cotton candy. Honestly, I'm like a little let down by this. So I don't know. <laughs> I might end up giving that to someone because I don't know that I will enjoy it. And then the last thing from Ulta, I actually got some free with purchase items. So oh, I did I did buy this one though. This is the New Heights Lifting Mascara from Ulta. I've heard such good things about this. It has a very tiny little wand. So I'm excited to try that in our try on video. And then free with purchase, I got these two items. Um, this was a little sponge. And then I got a sample of the matte eye primer from Ulta Beauty. This is like one of my favorite eye primers. I was actually going to purchase the full size of this, but then I met the threshold to get the free gift with purchase and this was included. So I decided since it takes such a long time to use up an eye primer that I would take that out of my cart and just get the little mini. So the rest of this gift set, I'm actually going to gift to someone as part of their Christmas gift, just because I think that they would like to try a couple new products. But those are the two items that I decided to keep from the little free gift with purchase. Also my order from Buxom came in and I am so excited about this. This is what I have had on my wish list for several months at this point from Buxom. Also, I didn't even notice that this is what the front of the packaging looked like. I think it's really cute, like a little glass of rosé. But this is what the inside of this looks like. And this is the straight up eye and cheek palette, by the way. But this was right up my alley. I love the tones in this. I think I'm going to love this for travel. I'm so excited to try this out. These shimmers look so beautiful in the packaging. And I like how sleek the packaging is too. It's just very simple. And then also from Buxom, I picked up their bronzer in the shade Rooftop Tan. I'm also really excited to try this one, especially with the face palette. This comes in a similar packaging to their blush, but this is a much larger compact. 
it feels pretty high quality and I like the kind of plain acrylic packaging. I've just been really into like sleek, nice, clean looking packaging. Okay, so other than those products, oh, I did get one other gloss. I actually did order this for pickup at Ulta. Um, on Tuesday. So this is the Milani lip gloss in the shade Luminoso. I have been waiting to try this gloss. I don't know why I've never picked it up before, but I did pick up the shade Luminoso. I like it so far. I don't know. I'm still going to test it out and I'll show you guys more about that in the try on video. But those are all the makeup purchases that I got except for one that's going to take a while to get here. I splurged you guys. So <laughs> Um, I do make a little bit of money off of YouTube, okay? And I got a paycheck from YouTube recently and I decided I was going to use the paycheck for some eyeshadow. <laughs> so I bought 16 single eyeshadows from Cleona. I'm so excited to try them. So I, I originally was just going to pick a couple. I was going to pick like four or five and then depending on what was still available or what had sold out, I was just gonna purchase like one, two, or maybe three shadows. Then I got 16, but I really did a lot of research. I looked through videos, reviews, photos, Instagram, like everything, <laughs> I looked through all of it. I read reviews, I really took my time like diving into the website because that website is overwhelming to me. Um, I have little fuzzies floating around, but that website is honestly a little bit overwhelming to me because all of the shadows have so many beautiful shifts to them that it's really hard to tell exactly what you're getting in my opinion, like without doing the research. When you just look at the single shade, it's like, ooh, okay, but like what are the shifts to it? So I will give Cleano so many props because I love how their website is set up. It's super user friendly. They even have a quiz of like, what do you typically prefer? And it can take you into like a list of eyeshadows that you would hopefully like based on your quiz answers. I really love that. It also has great descriptions of what the shades look like. It has so many photos and videos of the shades and I really appreciate that. So I built up a palette like in my head. I got a lot of different like varieties of colors and I ended up picking 16 because I thought it would be really nice to have like a four by four palette to be able to really dip into this and use it alongside the rest of my collection. I picked some that were green. I'm really proud of myself for doing that because I always am like kind of hating on shifty shades that have green in them. So I'm going to really embrace it and try it because these looked so beautiful. I watched a lot of Lauren May Beauty's videos, by the way, because she loves clean of shadows. So I'm really excited to try those, but you're gonna have to stay tuned again for Vlogmas because that's gonna take a while to get shipped, I think, just because they had a lot of orders. So I can't share that in this video and it won't be in my try on haul video which works out though because I do have this eyeshadow from Buxom to try out but don't worry I will have so many videos coming out on the Cleona single shadows I will definitely share swatches and looks and anything you guys want to see so let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see from the 16 shades that I got I'm really 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 excited to share them with you guys and to just try them out in general so those are all my makeup purchases I likely will not buy I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna buy any makeup before the end of the year like I know I need a clear brow gel but outside of that like I'm not gonna buy a lot of makeup before the end of the year just because I did splurge on those eyeshadows I got a few products here to try so I'm pretty set for the rest of the year I think but I got a lot of other stuff on Black Friday. Like I said, I wanted to go to some small businesses. So there's one like local boutique in the area that I really like and they opened at nine. So we got there a little bit early and we stood in line for about 15 minutes before the store opened and they gave us free tote bags for shopping around in the store. I'm not gonna share that because it has the store name on it. And given that it's like a local boutique to where I live, I don't really wanna share that. So I hope that you guys understand but I'm sure that there's local boutiques near you guys so you know I can't exact I can't link these anyways so I'm gonna share what I got but it's just for my safety of like where I live and stuff I don't want to share that I feel like these are unique to the store but of course you can find stuff like this at other gift shop type boutiques um, but I just happened to get these at the one near where I live so they also gave away tote bags to the first like so many people before they ran out if you spent $50 or more at the store. So I got this like <laughs> massive tote bag and it's so cute. I'm obsessed with bags, okay? We also grocery shop at Aldi. So you take your own bags there and everything. So always use these types of bags. And this is gonna be one that's like so great for groceries. So I wanted to share that. 
But what I got from the boutique, I got these earrings I have on right now, these cute little bows. I love how they look. And then I got several gifts here. So I'm not, I'm actually just not going to mention what's a gift and what's not because I did get several different pairs of earrings and some of them are for me and some of them are to gift. So I got this pair of really pretty gold hoops. They did have a pretty good sale. They had all of these earrings on sale like right at the door and then they had a percentage off their entire store as well. I also got these little reindeer. I thought that these were so cute and honestly like a more subtle way to wear a Christmassy earring. I could not not get these. How cute are these Christmas trees? They're pink and they have even tinsel on them and everything. I loved these. Then the next two are the same but two different colors. So I got these two pairs of earrings that are both gold and then of course one with pink and one with like a more white sort of a crystal on them. But they just looked so pretty and fun. And then <laughs> I think you guys are going to know that these are for me. But I got these disco ball earrings which I thought would be so fun to wear like in videos and stuff. So when I saw these it's like I just... I had to get them so I'm so excited for those and then the last thing I got from this little boutique was this cute little mug that has like a little gingerbread house looking thing on it so I thought that this was really cute especially for hot chocolate around this time of year just a fun kind of festive mug and I'll put it there in the background so I don't drop it okay so that was everything from the first shop I was so excited to go to this shop right when they opened just to support a, a small business near me then <laughs> then i went to old navy on thanksgiving one of our family members had on the cutest outfit and i asked her where it was from and she <laughs> told me that old navy was having like an amazing sale she was not kidding everything was 50 percent off in the whole store so i did actually pick up online two pairs of pants and a hot pink vest and then a scarf so i'll put pictures here of what I got online. They're not in yet, but I'm so excited for them. I did see them in stores when I went yesterday, but several of the things I was looking at weren't available online. So I went to the store to pick up some things. I got a big bag from Old Navy. So the first two things that I was looking for when I got there, I'm wearing one of them right now. It's this white sweater. I really like it. I never wear white. So I actually am happy that I like this on me. And then I got the same as sweater, but in pink. All of these, by the way, were 50% off. So the sweaters, all of the sweaters I'm going to share were around $20. Mostly what I got at Old Navy was sweaters. But I love the top of these sweaters. Like, they're not super tight. They're not tight at all on my neck. I can't stand tight sweaters like that. And they're just, like, staples. So I really like these. They actually had this paired on the model online with the hot pink vest. So I figure I'll wear the vest with either the white sweater or this pink one, just kind of depending on what I'm feeling like. But I like the sleeves on this. This runs pretty true to size. It's a little bit oversized, but I was able to just kind of go with my normal size. So I really like this one. <laughs> they have glittery sweaters. So I love getting sweaters like this to film in because it's fun to pair these with makeup looks. However, these run so small okay if you guys are looking at this sweater in particular this like really glittery looking sweater it's a lot of fun but these run like extremely extremely small i tried on a large and it fit like a small like i'm not even kidding it it, it literally looked like a small so i ended up getting a 2x and for reference like i typically like a large in a sweater because i don't like it to be like fitted i like it to be looser so like the white and the pink sweater i got in a large and i had to get this one in a 2x and it fits like good it doesn't fit like it's like massive on me or anything like that so yeah um that's the only downside to this and i would have been really bummed if i had ordered this online i just happened to get it in store where i could try it on and then i also got that same one in purple so same sweater but i got the light blue one and the purple i feel like they look kind of similar on camera but in person they don't and maybe one of them's not for me. Okay, the last glittery sweater that I got, this one I didn't size up, but just one size. I got the extra large in this one and it fits really nicely. So it doesn't run quite as small as the other sweater, but this one's more of a cardigan style sweater. I love the little buttons on it. They're so tiny and I like the color of this one as well. So I'm really gonna like this one, I think, for filming, but also I could wear this like to work for a festive look or just like out and about. I could wear any of this like anywhere, but I love getting different colored sweaters and shirts that are more affordable to film in especially. 
because I feel like I've just been wearing the same same shirts over and over again. Um, I don't go clothing shopping a ton. I might get like a piece here or there and most of the clothes I buy are for work. So I like to every now and then get something that's just a little bit more like just for me to wear wherever. I could still wear these to work, but they're not necessarily like work clothes. However, this next one is, I got a pair of pink pants. I got this pair of pink kind of like trouser pants for work and I really, really like them. It's gonna be kind of hard to show, but they're just like plain pink pants. Um, they're not, I'll, put, I'll just pop the picture up. Honestly, they're gonna be easier to show there. They're not like, um, skinny at the bottom or anything like that. They're just kind of like a regular trouser pant. The back of them has this little bit of give to it. This is what I need because I have the hardest time finding work pants that actually fit like everywhere and don't gap around my waist. So I really liked how these have the stretchy bit because it, that let them not gap around the waist. So that was super nice. I really, really liked these. And of course, it's a huge bonus that they were half off. So these were $25, which is such a good price for work pants. Okay, next I picked up this really pretty scarf. This one was on sale for $8. And I thought that this was just like such a nice classic looking scarf. I really think it's pretty. Some of my favorite scarves are from Old Navy. So I like to pick up one or two like every year. And then I also picked up another scarf. Um, keep in mind guys, not all of this stuff is for me. Some of this is gifts. I'm just kind of sharing it all together, but I also really love this scarf, how it's again, more of like a classic sort of a pattern, but it has that nice purple hint to it. So, so it's something a little bit different. Then I got this top. I felt like this top was honestly like nice and dressy looking if you're going to wear like a cardigan over it or something, but it's just this nice little tank top. And I thought that it looked really nice. I love the color of it. And I like that it has this like ribbed pattern to it. I think that it'll look really nice underneath like a cardigan, just kind of like as a nice layering piece. Okay, that was everything in that bag, but I think I'm missing a couple things that were in it. So it might've ended up in a different bag. So we're gonna keep going. And if I find it, I will share that then. <laughs> okay, next up we went over to TJ Maxx. They don't have like actual Black Friday sales cause they're already a discount store, but they did have some new products that they had put out. I picked this up. <laughs> so I got this little gingerbread house for my room and it does light up. I can't quite tell because I have so many lights on right now in my face, but it does light up and I think it'll be really cute in my little village over there. So I'm probably gonna add that today. I got that and it was $20. I was really excited to find it. I found several at thrift stores. So this one was more expensive than those, but considering I don't have to paint it and it already lights up and everything, I'm gonna take it as a win. Okay, also from TJ Maxx, we took this as an opportunity to pick up some gifts for some people. Um, so, You'll see some gifts we got for my dog here in a minute, but we also did get these slippers. These are, I think TJ Maxx is such a great place to get slippers from. So these are just some really pretty purple ones. Then we got Perry some Christmas gifts. So we got her this little toy. <laughs> Matt picked this out. I thought it was very, very cute. And then we also got her this little bunny and the squeaker on this is so loud. We are those people that squeak the toys in the store because you have to make sure that they work. But it's a good one. I can't squeak it now though because Perry will hear it. Okay, and then also at TJ Maxx, we got Perry a new bed. Um, I don't have it in here. We actually just kept it in the car so she wouldn't see it. But uh, on Christmas morning, I wanna pull the bed out and like put all of her little toys on it for Christmas. And I think she's gonna be really excited about it. She has this window in our house that she loves to look out of. And so we got a bed to put right in front of the window and it has three sides on it like up around the bed so she can like lay her head on it and be able to look out. And I think she's gonna be really excited about it. We used to have a bed like that and we had to get rid of it, just got really worn out. So I think she's gonna be excited to have another one of those. Next we went to Lush and I picked up several different bath bombs and bubble bars, but my head is hurting a little bit right now. So I don't wanna show you guys those because the smells of them can just be overwhelming. But I know I got the bright side one. That one's a real citrusy scent. It's so nice if you guys are looking for one of those. And then I also got the little star one that smells like mint. That's my favorite bubble bar. It's like one that I will actually use. And I really like that one as well, like fresh mint sort of a scent. Kind of smells like toothpaste, not gonna lie, but it doesn't hurt my head and it's nice to have a scent every now and then. Um, for the baths, we went there. Yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just not gonna actually show those. I don't wanna get a headache. Then we went to Home Goods. Found some really good stuff at Home Goods. Don't worry, I'm getting into like some more thrifted pieces from local shops, but I want to share what I have right here, kind of in order of where we went. So again, Home Goods doesn't have like 
specific sales because again they're already a discount store but i did need some more measuring cups i was hoping to find some at the like boutique kind of gift shop place we went to first but they didn't have any um like i was looking for they only had christmas measuring cups and i really am not the type of person to have like a set of measuring cups for christmas it's just too much. I don't have anywhere to store all that stuff when it's not Christmas time. So we had a couple, like we had one that's just like, we don't know where it is. Um, we haven't for like over a year and then we had a measuring cup break. So it was time to replace our set. Um, so I picked up these two sets and I really like them. This larger set, so they're just silver, but I like the handles on them. I thought that they were really nice. And I got metal ones instead of plastic just because I like how they look. I wanted to find some real cute ones, but honestly, this is just like something practical that we need. So I felt like these would hold up really well. And then I got the matching set of some of the smaller sizes. So these are pretty good. Um, this pack was $6.99 and the larger pack was $7.99. And then we also picked up another little toy for Perry. These are one of her favorites and she just really loves this. This is $4.99. So we like to just have like a few new toys for her for Christmas. So I got, you know, a few of those yesterday. Here's what I was missing from Old Navy. So we got a bunch of these <laughs> for gifts, but these are these little socks that have grippies on the bottom. So they're really nice to just like wear around the house. If you don't want to wear a whole slipper or if your feet are just cold and you want to add, you know, a little bit of warmth. So I got two of these pairs that have the cute little peppermints on them. And then I got two pairs that have little penguins. So some of these will be gifts and then I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep one of them, especially definitely the pink pair. Uh, okay, so back to what I got at Home Goods though. I found the prettiest little dishes. I'm so excited. So I saw these and I just like kept looking at them and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't need a dish, okay? Like I wasn't looking for one, but how could I not? I don't have any Christmas dishes, okay? It's fine. <laughs> um, we recently got a china cabinet and so we do have a set of china but as far as serving dishes go I only have a few and I really like serving dishes so I decided to pick up this because I felt like it was like a classic sort of a pattern it wasn't so cheesy like they had one that just had like three trees all clustered together but I liked how the pattern was continuous on this one this is like super like heavy duty like really really nice and this was $7.99. So when it comes to serving wear, I would love to find like handmade serving wear here and there, like a piece here and a piece there. But if it comes to like buying multiples to have like a set of them, my budget is like not there. So I decided to just pick up a couple of these just to have like a couple kind of grounded pieces for like a Christmas little tablescape because um, we actually do Christmas just the two of us at the house. And so we have like a Christmas dinner just for the two of us. And so it's kind of nice just to have like a full like sit down dinner. That's what's been our tradition for the last few years. But we also do like Christmas celebrations with our families like for Christmas Eve or the weekend before or something like that. So sometimes we all bring up food together. We mostly do that for Thanksgiving, but it's just nice to have like a couple little dishes and I'm really happy about them. I got another one of those. <laughs> so I just got two of the same ones and I inspected them all to make sure I got the best looking ones but they're just these like nice shallow dishes but like honestly guys these are really heavy these are from the brand called Potter's Studio by the way and they're they're really pretty I'm super excited about these and then I also picked up two of this shape which is just more of an oval it's not quite as deep as the bowl either so in comparison, like the bowl and then the plate. So I thought these would just be really nice. So then again, I just got two of the same shape again. And these were all $7.99 each. Okay, that was everything I got from Home Goods. So now we're moving on to like thrift stores and those stores that have like little booths in them, whether they're different antiques or different handmade goods. So we got a lot of different things from places like those. I've been looking for different things for this room that I'm in right now, like my makeup room. And I found this little thing that I thought would be really cute on some hanging shelves I just recently put up. And I really love that. <laughs> so this person had this in their booth and I picked this up. It was about $16, but I thought it was really, really pretty. This glittery part like shifts between a pink and like a light green and a blue. It's really pretty. And I just thought it was perfect for my room in here. I think she's so cute. And then my husband actually picked out <laughs> this giraffe. So we're kind of obsessed with giraffes. I feel like they're reminiscent of greyhounds, our dogs, and I don't know, giraffes always remind me of my greyhound Henry. So we always really love giraffes. So he picked that one out. And then 
he also found me this one. <laughs> I have been looking for a brass giraffe to put in this room for months now. And I've seen a couple of them, but I just haven't felt like they were the one until I saw this little guy. So I picked this up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. I think he's so cute. This is going to be something I'll keep up on my shelves like year round. I'm not sure if he'll be on like my Christmas shelves or not. I haven't actually decorated them um, fully, but one way or another, this is going to live in my little room in here. I love him. I also found this, which I thought was pretty interesting. This is a candle holder but it's a large candle holder. Like it's not for candle sticks, but it was just so unique to anything I've really ever seen before. And I really liked it. I also liked that it has the little hearts around the top. So I decided to pick this up again, kind of for decorating my shelves, but more like long-term, not just for Christmas. Um, I guess I should share prices with you guys. Some of the booths had like 10 or 15% off, but I'll just share like the sticker price on this one was $12.50. The large giraffe, I think, was like $16 or $17. The little giraffe that was brass was $15. And then the ice skating snowman was also $16. Then I found this cute little ornament for $2.50. So I picked that up for our tree. I just thought it was a really cute little bell. And then that was everything we got from that store. Then today, actually, which today is Small Business Saturday, we went to two thrift stores and actually we went to one thrift store and then one store kind of like the other one with like the booths in it that have a little bit of everything. So from the thrift store, um, they had 50% off everything. So they were still having a Black Friday sale. I recently saw this video on Instagram of like thrifted gifts to give for Christmas. And I've been wanting to make my own candles because scented candles give me a headache and I would love candles burning in the back of my videos. So I'm gonna just make some soy candles that don't have any fragrance to them. And I loved this reel because she shared like how she was finding containers from thrift stores to make them in. And I decided to pick up a couple from the thrift store we went to today. So I picked up this one for $1. It was of course half off um, the $2 sticker there. But I thought that this was just such a pretty little jar. Again, it has some hearts. So it might be fun to use this one like around Valentine's Day. I'm going to make all of them probably with no fragrance in them. Um, but I also could like do a small batch of fragrance ones to give to people. I'm just not sure. I wanted to have a few different vessels to be able to put the wax in. Because if I'm going to take the time to like make candles, I don't want to just make one. Because I'm going to have to buy enough wax to make a couple. You guys, I don't know. You're going to have to let me know how you feel about this one, okay? I got this for a dollar. And I decided if I don't like it, I will just re-donate it to the thrift store. Not for Christmas time. But I'm going to play around and see if I like this on my shelves like year round. <laughs> I don't know. This room has a very unique taste to it like I'm very well aware of that but it's all the stuff that I really like and for some reason this just made me so happy like I could have seen my great grandma having this in her house and I think it's so cute so you guys are gonna have to let me know like <laughs> is this hideous or is this cute I honestly I, I don't know um I don't know where this is from but it has like little <laughs> has little butterflies hanging from it and you can put a tea light in the back which I'd probably get like an electric tea light that just has a battery in it. Um, I thought it was cute and I was thinking about it. I'm like, it's a, it's a dollar. I'm just going to get it. If it doesn't work out, it's okay. And I will donate it. And I at least donated a dollar to the thrift store because the thrift store is a nonprofit thrift store. So the money does go to a good cause. Okay. So next up, each of these were 50 cents. I spent $4 total at this thrift store. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I found this. I don't know what this is meant to be, but I thought it could be cool on my shelves just with like one little pretty flower in there. I don't know. I just thought it was cute and I feel like I could do something with it regardless. I got another little vessel that I thought would be really pretty for a candle. This would probably be one that I would gift because I don't really love the tinted glass for my aesthetic, but it could be really cool, I think, with a candle in it. And I do think it's a pretty pretty jar and has really thick glass so it'll be good for a candle lastly from the thrift store I also just got one more jar um this is like a whiskey glass but I'm gonna use it as a candle it says mac tools I have no idea what mac tools is but I thought it was cool and again I think this would make a really cool jar for a candle it's like super weighted and heavy I just think it looks really really nice and I think with the candle in it it will be really fun. If I'm going to be making the candles, I don't mind if they're a little bit smaller because they honestly kind of work better 
you know, in my room to fit like here or there. So I like the jars that I got and I'm really excited to turn them into candles. I'm gonna try and find a few more and like make a little set of them. Next up is that other store that was like a booth type place. Um, but here we got two ornaments. So we got this really cool one. Matt picked out the ornament. Uh, well, Matt picked out this ornament. It's got like glitter on the sides and I think it's really cool. This was printed, like someone made this on a, um, like a CNC machine, I think. And it's really cool. So we got that one for $5. This one's for us. We're keeping this one. <laughs> Look how cute. This was a 3D printed gingerbread man ornament and he like wiggles like his arms and his legs move and he's just so cute. <laughs> I'm so excited to have him on the tree. They had all different colors, but we got just the like, nice little tan one and this one was also $5. Then I hit the jackpot. So I was looking for candlestick holders yesterday when I found the larger candle holder that has little hearts on it, but these are more so what I was looking for. I am so excited about these. They need a bit of a cleanup, like they're pretty old. So I'll kind of clean them off a little bit, but I mean, they're old and brass. So they've even patinaed a little bit, but they're so pretty. I love that they match and they're two different heights. So I can put the same candlestick in both of them, but they'll still be two different heights. And these were such a good price. I, ooh, they took the price tags off. I think one of these, this one might've been eight and this one was seven. And then I also got this one that was eight, but I had to have this like a cute little mini candlestick holder. It will require me to find a smaller candlestick, but I don't even care. I just love this. So I was so excited to find the three of these candlestick holders. I love brass products like that. And that's exactly what I'm wanting to put on my shelves year round once I take down all of the holiday decor. So I'm really excited about that. I hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think that I did, but that's everything that I picked up on Black Friday and also Small Business Saturday. I really prioritized trying to go to small businesses on a Friday as well. So I'm really happy with that. We also went to eat yesterday at a local restaurant and yeah, I'm just like, I was really trying to make sure that we went to local places. We also went to something in our community and they had like food trucks and they had a hot chocolate truck. So we got hot chocolate at our local place as well, just a small business. So I really wanted to prioritize, you know, supporting a small businesses and shopping local. So that was really important to me. However, of course I did still go to a couple big box stores. So a little bit of everything in this haul, which is my favorite way to shop. I love to have a little bit of everything and just to pick up the things that make me the happiest and bring me the most joy. So I'm really excited about everything that I got. I marked off a lot of Christmas gifts off of our list yesterday. So that's a really good accomplishment as well. But that's gonna be everything I have to share with you guys in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is going to be my last video before Vlogmas, so I will see you guys on December 1st. We are going to decorate this room for Christmas. I've got holiday gift guides coming up. I've got a ton of different makeup looks and just a lot of good holiday content, I think. So I hope that you guys are excited for Vlogmas. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys will not miss that. Also turn on your post notifications if you guys want to be notified every single time that I post. However, right now we are scheduling all of the videos to go up at 8 a.m. every single day in the month of December. So I will see you guys on December 1st with the Decorate video. Thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you later. Bye.